Uh, I was brought up to believe. In fact, that's too light a term, believe. I mean, belief is something you maybe think about. Uh, with me, it was just in my DNA and my guts that uh, to be a bench meant to fight for social justice. Uh, I was brought up to believe that the only way that the Jewish people can be safe anywhere, and remember, I came up in the 40s and 50s in America where we had a wave of anti-Semitism after the Holocaust. I was brought up to believe that the only way that the Jewish people could be safe is to have a society in which discrimination is impossible for anybody. I was working in Meridian the first week I was there. My wife and I put on the cleanest of our clean clothes, walked up to the synagogue in Meridian, got to the first step, and a woman came out and said, you are not wanted here, please leave, we are Southerners first. And it's made me really think about what it means to be Jewish, because I was Jewish and I was there, and they were defining themselves as Jewish in reaction to how they understood their situation to be in Mississippi. Though I wasn't in touch with the Jewish community in Mississippi, uh, largely because for both the protection of the white uh, volunteers of the projects I was on, uh, and for the protection of the black community, we were largely kept within the black community, except when we explicitly went downtown to uh, do registration uh, drives. Uh, but when we were recruited to come to Mississippi, uh, one of, in addition to filling out an application form, I was told we needed to raise $500. Now I was, at that point I think I was 17 years old, I came down at 18, and $500 in 1964 was a lot of money. And to me as a student, it was, it seemed in, in almost unimaginable full amount of money. And I tried to raise it in different ways. I went door to door in my dorms. I you know, asked friends for it. I had no systematic approach. And to make up the rest of the money, I went to my synagogue back home in New York. And they gave me uh, they contributed the extra funds. And the funds were supposed to be for uh, bail bond, though when arrested, of course, <laughs> we, there was no bail bond. And <laughs> we were all in it together. And then after the summer, went back to the synagogue and reported on the experience. In so many ways, there was a connection from the Jewish community to come down to Mississippi. I view that whole era, and the era from when I grew up, through about 1967, as an era of the connection, the unity of social justice and Judaism, broadly, writ large in America. I kept getting arrested on these uh, charges that, that uh, I was telling you about. And it, it occurred to me, after a while, every time I got arrested, I, we, we paid uh, money, uh, pay our bail to get us out, because we, want us to be in jail, want to be out of organizing. It occurred to me that I had become a, uh, a village industry, a cottage industry in uh, Holly Springs. So when I was arrested for um, not having a functioning taillight at two in the afternoon and was fined $500, I refused to pay. I said, you know, you've got enough out of it. The sure started a bargain. Said, okay, well, two hundred dollars. No. When he got down to about ten dollars, he called for the prosecutor from Tupelo, who was Jewish. This is about contact with the Jewish community, and he came to negotiate. He said, oh, you know, pay the five dollars. Get out. Pay the two dollars. <laughs> And, you know, your lies, what, why do they call this fuss? <laughs> and uh, I said, no, but he's, he's, he started to, you know, uh, play the Jewish card. Well, you know, we have a small Jewish community here. If you uh, pay the fine, you come to the Shabbat services and all that. 
And I just kept saying no, you know, I'm not going to pay the guy, I don't know, I will name him, Flick Ash, the name of the sheriff, who's the sheriff of the tax collector. I'm not going to give him another penny. Thanks. Uh, Very famous sheriff. Yes. Notorious. Yes. Quite notorious. It's still alive and quite wealthy. <laughs> So that was my that was my contact with the Jewish community of Northern Mississippi. Yeah. That was a chance for me to live those Jewish values, not just speak them, but to act on them, and in the face of injustice, to struggle for and for some progress. We won some justice as much as the struggle continues.